ignition locking system, a device in detecting the helmet utilization, and identification of intoxicated motorcycle driver. Background of the study. Safety is the utmost priority in our daily lives. When someone is in a vehicle whether alone or with passengers, safe driving should always be the top concern. Humans are more distracted than ever, so it is crucial to know the basics of safe driving and practice them every time you're on the road. In this said accidents, motorcycles have the most fatalities recorded. Motorcycle is way vulnerable as it is an open type of vehicle compared to cars. Also, a driver can only wear minimal safety gear like helmet and knee or elbow pad. A document from Rappeler, 2015, reported that fatalities and major injuries are still high on the chart for motorcycles. And drivers who are intoxicated can easily lose balance while driving motorcycle as it is a two-wheeled vehicle. That is why this one has to be solved because motorcycle accidents recorded on the road are alarming. The safety of the motorcycle riders should be reinforced in order to lower down the fatalities or even injuries to this said vehicle. Statement of the problem Ideally in the Philippines alone, the traffic enforcers on the road are aiming and are doing their best to lessen the accidents most especially in the motorcycle's concern. The motorcycle driver must be wearing helmet while driving, must be sober and must follow road and traffic rules and regulations to prevent road accidents. However, over 37,000 people died in motorcycle accidents, and around 11,500 of them are due to intoxicated driving, National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, 2009. Accordingly, driving without wearing safety gears or helmets for protection and especially drunk driving has a high track record of road accidents. These are drivers who are not following the road traffic rules and regulations and such they believe that they can still handle themselves to drive. Thus, this is a strong motivation to take the issue more seriously. With this, the present study would like to develop a system that would detect the driver's utilization of its helmet as well as whether the driver is under the influence of intoxicating substances. The system will automatically lock the ignition of the motorcycle so the driver will not be able to operate it and prevent any accidents. The main objective of this study is to provide safety to the motorcycle drivers and pedestrians which is specifically aims the following. To design and develop a device that detects if the driver wears the helmet or not. To design and develop a breath analyzing device that checks the breath alcohol content of the motorcycle driver. To design and develop a distress message through SMS to a family member of the owner or driver of the motorcycle. The result of this study will be beneficial to the following entities. To the motorist, this study will be beneficial to the motorcycle driver around the country as they are the one that has high cases of accidents and are very vulnerable on the road. To the pedestrians. This study will be beneficial to the pedestrians as they are also one of the people we will see on the road who are not expected to be involved in accidents. To the future researchers, this study may become an opportunity for a new system development and will serve as a reference for further innovation. Scope and Limitations Scope The study aimed to develop a device embedded with sensors which act as detectors for riders' head. Sensors are connected to our microcontroller and sends through Bluetooth communication. After the microcontroller receives the data input then it will send information to the ignition to lock or unlock. The ignition of the motorcycle can start only if the rider has buckled up its helmet and starts to take a breath at the sensor attached to its helmet. The second safety method that we introduced is the locking of the motorcycle's ignition by the use of their breath testing their breath alcohol content by the use of a device prepared by the researchers. The motorcycle will not function if the sensors that are attached to the helmet will not detect any temperature or heat and a sample of breath to the alcohol analyzer. Limitations The study has a certain limitations in prior to the sensor. If the driver wears a mask on or covers the mouth, the amount of breath exhaled will not be enough for the sensor to trigger the action. If the driver covers the sensor module by something like a handkerchief it will not function as desired as the input to the sensor gets blocked and enables the start of the vehicle. If the vents of the sensor get blocked due to some dust slash dirt or other materials, this will too result in the system not being able to perform efficiently. 
Another limitation is that our system cannot exactly determine whether the breath sample and the person wearing the helmet is the driver. So it would become a potential backdoor for those driver who are drunk having a back rider that was not intoxicated to give the system the needed breath sample and he can wear the helmet instead of the drunk driver. The study cannot send the exact location of the intoxicated driver to its receiver, it can only send a location in the form of latitude and longitude. The study also cannot determine whether the driver is the one who breathed his slash her sample of air on the device and wore the helmet. Past studies. Smart helmet, Salunke, 2016. Identify as if the helmet is wear or not. Force sensing resistor sensor, FSR. LCD display. Development of smart helmet by microcontroller based Trifid using IR and motion sensors, AS Pandian, R. Kumar, S. Sabash, S. Vishal, and S. Palani. 2017. Confirm the wearing of helmet by the driver by using an infrared sensor. Motion sensing circuit to detect the clearance between vehicles. Comparator to limit value. Alcohol detection of drunk drivers with automatic car engine locking system, DEU Bengal, H.I. Hamed, A. L. Deef, A. E. O. Pimi, and J. Pratiksha, 2015. Arduino at Mega 328 controller, MQ3 alcohol sensor, GPS, GSM. LCD and DC motor, microcontroller based automatic vehicle lock control system of drunken driver, Roman, 2010. Sensing element used is Snow 2. Automatic locked control system will make the relay move and cut off the car engine power. The present study proposes to create a device that disables a person to drive a vehicle when he or she is on the influence of an alcoholic substance. The targets of this research are the motorcycle drivers since they have higher chance of being involved in an accident when drunk. The input is consists of electronic components such as passive infrared sensor, PER sensor, MQ3 sensor, alcohol sensor, and Bluetooth module. PER sensor helps to detect if the person wore the helmet or not, it detects the motion by measuring changes in the infrared levels emitted by surrounding objects. Alcohol sensor is used for detecting alcohol content from the breath, it will be put close to the mouth of the driver, inside the helmet. A reading of breath alcohol content, BAC, level from 0.05% and higher disables the driver from using his or her motorcycle, this means only a BAC level of 0.04% are only allowed to drive the motorcycle. As the motorcycle driver wear a helmet. He then breaths a sample of air to the breath analyzer which will be analyzed by the device. An alcohol breath analyzer is a device used to estimate a person's breath alcohol content from a breath sample. A person must test before driving to check if that person is drunk or not. The Bluetooth module then sends the data wirelessly to the microcontroller that is connected to the motorcycle's ignition and the process happens. The microcontroller analyzes the data, if the BAC is at 0.04% it will allow the driver to use the motorcycle. And as an output, when the system detects any breath alcohol concentration and the driver has the intention to open the motorcycle's key, the ignition switch will automatically make the relay move and cut off the motorcycle ignition power, which will block the ignition process hence the driver cannot use the motorcycle therefore effectively prevents the driver from the drunken driving. So the, so the functionality of the Sumato 8 module will work here. The Sumato 8 is a global system for mobile communications, GSM and global positioning system. GPS 2-in-1 function module used to send a text message along with the location to the registered contact number if the driver cannot drive its motorcycle due to alcohol intoxication. GPS receives the data from the satellite and decodes it in the form of latitude and longitude and send it on serial port. Here the product is introduced as the safety helmet is embedded with sensors which act as detectors for rider's head and also a sensor that is connected to motorcycle's ignition. The ignition of the motorcycle can start only if the rider has buckle up its helmet and start to take a breath at the sensor attached to its helmet. The second safety method that we introduced is the locking of the motorcycle's ignition by the use of their breath, testing their blood alcohol content by the use of the device prepared by the researchers.